As we pick up reading daily in the Word with Joshua 11, we see Joshua and his army returning to the camp at Gilgal. They had just been on a very successful campaign that gave them a huge region of the Promised Land. And as all the kings around this region heard what had happened, they banded together. In verse 4, we're told, all the kings came out to fight. Their combined armies formed a vast horde, and with all their horses and chariots, they covered the landscape like the sand on the seashore. The kings joined forces and established their camp around the water near Merom to fight against Israel. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid of them. By this time tomorrow, I will hand all of them over to Israel as dead men. And the rest of the chapter tells of the ensuing battles, all resulting in the same outcome. In verse 8, until not one enemy warrior was left alive. Verse 11, the Israelites completely destroyed every living thing in the city, leaving no survivors, not a single person was spared. Verse 12, completely destroying them. Verse 14, but they killed all the people, leaving no survivors. Verse 20, well, I think you get the picture. The enemies of Israel were completely and totally wiped out. Why? because the Lord said so. Verse 23 summarizes this chapter for us. So Joshua took control of the entire land, just as the Lord had instructed Moses. So the land finally had rest from war. And here's what I hope you and I can glean from this chapter today. God has a plan for our lives, a good plan, that will end well for us, just as it did for his nation Israel. And all we have to do to get there is follow his instructions written down for us in his word. Read Joshua chapter 11 today and enjoy the peace that comes from fixing your thoughts on him. Mm -hmm.